Well, if you plan on hitting the lakes and rivers this weekend, expect plenty of company. TWRA says this is one of the busiest boating weekends of the year. 10 News reporter Jim Athene shows us the crowds will include extra officers on the lookout for boaters under the influence. We will be out looking for impaired operators. This weekend, TWRA steps up patrols for drunk boaters as part of a national campaign called Operation Dry Water, a phrase that's a bit of an oxymoron. And officers say boaters tend to act like morons when they're drinking alcohol. Indulge too much. And then they start doing stupid things. People jumping out of boats, they'll take chances that they normally wouldn't take when they were sober. In Tennessee, the legal limit for blood alcohol content is the same whether you're driving a boat or a car, 0.08%. But TWRA says it usually takes less alcohol to become intoxicated on a boat compared to on land. Your judgment, reaction time, balance, they're going to be affected worse because the wave action, the, the glare, the sun dehydrates you, so the, the effects of alcohol are, are intensified when you're on the water. On the land, officers establish probable cause for breathalyzer tests by asking drivers to do things like walk in a straight line, something you can't really do on a boat. So they've developed four sobriety tests that work just as well sitting down. They'll ask you to follow objects with your eyes, touch your nose, and pat your palms. One, two, one, okay, that's good. Two. And they have something close to walk in a straight line, but using your fist. One, two, three, four. These tests help get drunk boaters off the water faster and also let sober drivers prove they're okay without being dragged to shore. Seven, eight. Excellent. TWRA says the safest way to enjoy the lake is with a designated driver and everyone wearing a life jacket. If you fall overboard or you decide to jump out of a boat or do something else stupid, that way you'll be floating and uh, you can get rescued. So please don't drink in boat. At Fort Loudon Lake, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. Again, officers on patrol this weekend will also be checking for life vests and other required safety equipment.